In order to play Huntress properly, you must first know where the center of your screen is. To do this, you must be able to find the center of your screen using the environment in your game. So to do that, let's say for the English version of the game, for instance, you have this little blurb at the bottom that says throw a hatchet. In order to find the center of the screen, all you got to find is the vertical center and the horizontal center. And wherever those two meet is the center of your screen. To do this, we must first go to that bottom blurb where it says throw a hatchet. In the center of the letter W is the vertical center, and the tip of the axe is the horizontal center. When you combine the two together, you keep constantly can realigning to find where the center of the screen is. To line up every shot, you just go to the middle of the W, go up, find the tip of the axe, and keep doing that over and over and over again for every single Whoa. shot. By doing this, you can play Huntress without a crosshair very what? simply and easily. Just a note, you can do this with any language in game, you just need to find the correct corresponding character at the bottom. The only thing that changes when you change the languages in Dead by Daylight is that bottom text. Just find the horizontal center and then center that with the axe center and you're always going to find the center of the screen no matter what language you play in. You need to make the broth, you gotta make the noodles. You would think that needle threading is actually very hard because you're using no cross here, but it's actually pretty easy. It's just a little bit weird. So you know, this, we have this method where we align the vertical center. For English, it's the, throw a, the middle of the W for throw an axe. If you take the center of the middle W and you align it to the exact center of where you want to throw your hatchet, and then you pull down to get the horizontal center right, you will get a correct needle thread lineup every single time. The hardest part of lining up a needle thread is the center of the screen. And once you get that down by aligning that perfectly first, then your needle thread shots will be 100% accurate every single time. You just gotta get that horizontal feel and know how horizontal you need to throw the axe anyway. When you keep constantly having to realign the center of the screen over and over and over again, sometimes it gets a little tedious and you're not really used to it. In my opinion, the best way to learn how to play without a crosshair is to actually start using a crosshair first. By using a crosshair for a couple matches and then taking it off, you get a general idea where the center of the screen is. As you start throwing hatchets with the crosshair, you can eventually start taking it off after a couple games, and you have this sort of like invisible idea of where the center of your screen is. You won't need to keep constantly realigning over and over again. You built this internal muscle memory in your brain of like, this is where my center is, this is where I need to keep aiming. And then you start feeling where you need to aim, you need to start feeling those shots. When it comes to needle threading though, you should really stick to the method that I just showed you. But when it comes to just doing complete learning of how to play crosshairless and complete gameplay style of playing without a crosshair, you should really, really use a crosshair and then turn it off to keep constantly building that muscle memory, rinse repeat over and over and over again until you finally get it. I for one actually do use a crosshair because if I don't have a crosshair on, I need to keep constantly realigning and doing all the setup for needle and threads and I'll be not talking. The only real difference between not using a crosshair and using a crosshair is your ability to be super focused. When using a crosshair, you don't need to be as focused and you could commentate like if you're streaming or something. But if you're not using a crosshair, you need to keep constantly realign, okay, realign the W here, do this, do that, it's hectic. It hurts a stream if you're doing streaming. So that's really what it is. That's the main difference. It's just your commentary level. And yo, and in my opinion, I think it's well worth it to actually use a crosshair. But here's an alternative if you actually want to learn how to play Huntress without one. It's actually fairly easy. You just need to be way more focused than a crosshair user. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to play Huntress without a crosshair. And yo, if you guys actually like these types of videos and like these tutorials and types of guides, feel free to leave a sub for the channel or leave a like for the video. It means a lot to me, you guys. And yo, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace, guys.